Series of Minecraft Bedrock are one of the things people have been asking for since 2017, when the Super Duper Graphics Pack was announced. That same pack, after years of promises and teases, was eventually cancelled. Players have been left behind like good content in the MCU after Endgame. However, like Guardians of the Galaxy 3, Mojang finally released shaders for Bedrock Edition, yet it's a bit more complicated than that. In fact, this might be the first step in an evil plan that Mojang might be rolling out. We'll be talking about that at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around until the end. But first, we have to figure out what these shaders are. While Mojang hasn't talked a ton about this as it's a very recent addition, we do have the super helpful and very much non-informing blog post. In this blog post, they basically just say that the shaders are added and you should try them out. So I'll try to be more helpful than that. The beta shaders add the Render Dragon features, which is a deferred lighting rendering program that Mojang has been working on since last year. A recent ray tracing on Windows is also with Render Dragon, so it shows this isn't just their first try with improved graphics. These shaders do look nice, and the footage I've shown for a majority of the video is what they look like, so make sure to leave a comment on what you think about them. Basically, the shaders just make the lighting look better, and some blocks and enemies have better textures. Sure, these are just basic packs, but they still look great. In fact, some shaders even have really great lighting with lanterns and torches, and it really adds to the game. I wish I could play it, though I'm stuck with this toaster of a console and this toaster of a computer. It's okay though, as I'll guide you watching how to get them. Basically, if you don't have an Xbox, PC, or Android, you're out of luck for now, as those are the only ones with access to Minecraft previews. And if you have a Switch like me, you're out of luck forever. PS5 support should be coming out soon, although we don't know when. Once you have Minecraft previews installed, you need to create a new world with Ender Dragon features turned on and shaders should be applied. This may be wrong as I can't test it and I do apologize if it is, but I will link another creators in the description on how to do it. Now, if you're still questioning why Sid Mojang has this evil plan about shaders, here's why. There is one massive difference between Bedrock and Java, and no, I'm not talking about the bugs. You can see it alone on the title screen, being the marketplace. One of my favorite parts about Minecraft is being able to see and play what others create, whether it be maps, skins, or even shaders. Yet, the marketplace of Minecraft Bedrock strips that away, as you have to play real money for each individual thing you want to play on it. So, basically everything on it. So, Minecraft does decide that they want to make even more money from the cash crop that is their favorite game, Minecraft. They'll put shaders in the marketplace, but many players won't be able to enjoy them after years of waiting. Hopefully they don't, but with Microsoft, you never know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, I post weekly mini docs like this one every Wednesday, so make sure to subscribe. Also, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed, or leave a dislike if you didn't. With that, thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time.